our scripture this morning is coming from the book of Psalm. And we'll be coming from Psalm 34, verses 1 to verse 8. And it's read that power. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall excuse me, my, my soul shall make a boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all of my fear. They looked unto him and were light, and their face were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his trouble. The angel of the Lord did come around and about them that feared him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. I have read. Uh, Psalm 34, verse 1 through 8. And, and this time, we are at this major leads to prayer. Father God, again, we come, Father God, just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for this day, a day that we have never seen before. Realize that, that Father God, when we lay down, there was no guarantee that we would see the sun right that morning. Yes. But because you love us so much, and because of your grace and your mercy, you allow us to see another day. The only road that more, Father God, we still have activity in our <coughs> body to move around and to see. We, uh, we have, I may not be like we want, but we have help and strength. And we just thank you. And we thank you, Father God, for just give us a mind to, to come this way. Thank you for allowing us to come away just to worship you and live with your name. So, Father God, this moment, we ask you to come in the midst of our service. We ask you, Father God, let your spirit have it away. Bless the man that comes to bring the word of God. Bless the choir and the saint and the son of God. And we your people, Father God, we come as an epiphasal this morning. Come to be filled. Fill us, Father God, with your precious spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank Mother Lulu for the song, for, for the scripture, and the big man for the prayer. At, at this time, our devotion service is open. You know, you may have a song, a prayer, whatever, to give God the praise. And, and while I'm standing, truly, I thank God for allowing me to be here. You know, I can't say, but you know what? One thing I can do is to tell the Lord thing. You know, uh, I don't know about you, but he has been good to me. Even, I, even if I don't do the thing that I'm supposed to do, he will lead me right back on the right path. So I thank God for I thank God for each and every one of you. You know, at this time, like I said, I'm no singer, but... If nobody else I'm saying, I do know one I can call on. So, at this time, it is, it is over for anyone. Amen. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs.
I'm so thankful that I'm able to come here this morning. Amen. 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 for God. Cut no one short. Let's give God the highest praise. Person on May the 6th at 4 o'clock. All members are asked to be present. 
St. Stephen's will be honoring Pastor Lewis's 19th pastoral anniversary on April the 23rd at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. at St. Stephen's Missionary Baptist Church at 206 Pearson Street, Goldsboro. Um, <coughs> any other announcements? I have one other um, uh, trip to Carolyn. Still has a few seats left, but if anyone is interested in going, please see me after the service.
meeting. So continue to keep uh, all in prayer. And just a reminder, uh, the first Sunday in June will be uh, Family and Friends Day. And we are working to put together a special program for that day. So please also mark that in your calendar. I want to thank God for our Sunday School Department, our uh, superintendent, uh, teachers, the uh, senior teacher, the youth teacher. This morning I did have opportunity to break away and sit in on the youth department, and, and the youth were very engaged with it. And I was I was really uh, delighted and impressed. Uh, Minister Howard, uh, this show uh, was yours, but uh, we had a lot of uh, had a lot of youth in the in the Sunday school class this morning. So we are just delighted, uh, and they were engaged. They were engaged. This is an important thing. So continue to encourage our youth department, encourage the youth teachers, uh, those that are working with our youth, because. Uh, and contrary to what many say, the youth are the church of tomorrow, the youth is actually the church of today. A church that does not have youth is the dying church. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we thank God for you. At this time, we are going to prepare ourselves for our, our opening. Um, and I'll just give this quick rundown right here, right now, because it looks like everybody, uh, this section is here. Um, as We'll have the opening selection, the invitation, the morning hymn, then we have the scripture by Deacon A. Jackson and the prayer by Deacon Samuel Branch. And then I will come back after that. After the show. But we are so delighted to have our visitors with us today to help us to celebrate this great occasion. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in Let us rise to our feet. As the choir shall give us the openness of election. Amen. Amen. Yes. This way yes. to help us to celebrate 
our day yes, here Lord. at Anderson Chapel. Yes. Now, Father, we pray, dear Lord, that thou touch every soul, touch yes. every scripture, yes. touch every prayer. Yes. Father God, yes. touch the man of God that shall yes. bring the word yes. of God. Yes. Father God, that someone would say it was good to have been yes. in the house yes. of Lord and Anderson Chapel on this day. Yes. It is in the blessed, matchless name of Jesus that we say, Amen. 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 Amen.
Church, say amen. Amen. Church, say amen again. Amen. Truly give an honor to my Lord. I want to be the my being here today. The top of the church to speak for the day. To dig into everyone in the building. This morning our scripture will be coming from Romans, the 12th chapter. And I'll be reading the first two verses. Romans, the 12th chapter. And it reads as follows. He sees you, therefore, brothers, by the mercy of God, that you trouble your body of living sacrifice, wholly accepted unto God, which is your responsible service, reasonable service. And be not conformed to this word, world, but be transformed by the revealing of your mind, that you may prove that you that God is is that good and acceptable and perfect. Will of God. Uh -huh. I read the first two verses of Romans 12 chapter to be sufficient for the day's word. Amen. Amen. Let us bow again in prayer. Father God, as we come this morning, we just come to say thank you for it. Father, we know that you are busy God. Yes. But Father, you just take time out for each and every one of us today. Yes. Oh, Father, thank you for letting us rise this morning. Yes. For we had no idea that we were going to get up this morning. Yes. But Father, you woke us up this morning with eyes yes. to see yes. and hands to move. Yes. But Father, we know we're about to do this morning. Yes. Church, he's about to do this morning. And Father, as we moved around this morning, yes. we had food prepared on the table. Yes. Oh, Father, we were able to go out the door and see a day that we had never seen. Yes. Oh, Father, we know it won't about you this morning. Oh, Father, we can give you praise this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, we thank you this morning and we continue on. Put in our minds to come out here to answer the shop this morning and serve with the shop this morning. Father, we know you this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, we just thank you for being who you are to each and every day. Oh, Father, some may be sick this morning. Yes. Someone having a hard to be here this morning, but they're not able to be here this morning. But, Father, you know who they are and where they are. Yes. Oh, Father, bless them right now. Oh, Father, we know that you're able this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, someone has lost a load. Yes. Oh, Father. Bless them this morning. Yes. Oh, Father, bless the man that can break the bread of life. Yes. Oh, Father, don't let us forget the shepherd of this house. Yes. Oh, Father, bless him in a special way. Yes. Oh, Father, he need prayer this morning. Oh, Father, he need touch by your hand. Yes. Oh, Father, we know that you are able to do anything for prayer this morning. And Father, as we continue on in today and the next day, yes. oh, Father, bless us and take us in your book and lead us and guide us in the right way that we should be led. In Jesus' name, I do Praise. Amen. 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 Jesus, oh Jesus,
that can't be here, Mother Dupree, we want to honor her, uh, she's not able to come, uh, Mother not, Brother Dupree and Mother Norley Bond. Uh, uh, they're our mother, and for our trustee, Mother Lois Lewis. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm behind you. So get the first lady, and Mother uh, uh, Lewis, they ask her to stay. Amen. I didn't write down because I thought I didn't have to write down. Amen. 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 Amen.
I remember when uh, Mr. Willie Robinson finished in his law room with his knee. I was in the middle of the board of friends and he was praying around. Amen. The group camp jumped off on my thank God for what he carried me away. So y'all just have to be today. Amen.
May. And thank you to all our visitors, uh, his mothers, and trustees from the various churches and areas of the community. It's so good to see you this morning. Amen. I think it's a uh, trustee who kind of moved here earlier there. It's just good to see, just see the crowd here. I don't think we've had this many people within the sanctuary since COVID starts. Amen. Outside of a funeral. And just give yourself a hand. Amen. Amen.
Hold on. Why wait till you die in bed? Why wait till you die in days? 
Why don't you serve the Lord right now? I know we are peculiar people. I know that we we are expected to do, do things that the world just can't understand. I was telling a colleague of mine just the other day, well, last time, as a matter of fact, I remember 2003, I got my arm crushed in a conveyor at work, and, and when we was on the way to the hospital, my manager looked at me, and he said, it was July 3rd, 2003, and he said, about it. It won't be counted as a lost work time accident. <laughs> oh, man. Spain, I looked at him and I told him, I said, Mike, if it was anyone else, you'd be cussed out. <laughs> the world don't know how to handle us. Yeah. Amen. We just remain calm. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because it's not mine, it's not Malcolm that's doing but it's the God that's on the inside. Amen. 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 Ready to lay down and die. Amen. Amen. I've got a lot of life I want to live just yet. Amen. But if the Lord shall call, All right. there's going to be some tears. Amen. i got a granddaughter sitting there right now. Dad is great. Stop talking like that. Amen. Because they won't be here a long time. Right. But rest is here. Are you ready? Amen. I didn't mean to go into all of that, but sometimes we just have to remind. Right. The time is winding up. Amen. 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 So uh, as the choir shall give us a selection of their shorts, they will play the music softly, the names will be read, and those names shall be called, and Pastor Speck will come and lead us in prayer. And if there are others who would like to draw closer to the altar, the altar is open. You know, yes. Come on, choir. Oh! 
Concerned that they did not have Jesus in their hearts and had not spoken, amen, several days. I went to the hospital with one thing in my spirit, and that was for this person to be saved. And during the prayer, amen, the person, amen, opened up and confessed Jesus as their Lord. Hallelujah. And they went on to be with God. Yes, Lord. Just a couple of days later. Oh, yes. But we don't have to wait for the last day. Yes, Lord. They sing in the song now. Just because of who you are. How many know that God is a healer? Yes. How many know that God is a deliverer? Yes, yes. How many know that God is a way out of no way? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How many know that he's light in the darkest days? Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Just because of who you are. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah, John. Yes, Lord. Father God, we come in this hour. Yes, Lord. In this season, in this moment. Yes, Lord. God, before we ask you for anything, God, first, God, we come to tell you thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, just because of who? You are. You are our healer. Yes, yes, Lord. You are our redeemer. Yes, Lord. You are our strength. Yes, God. yes, Lord. Oh God, we tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God, we come to tell you we love you, God. Yes. Because you first yes. love us. Yes. Oh, yes. God, we tell you thank you. Thank you, God. We tell you thank you, God, for the Glory of a new day. Yes, yes, uh, there is no man that's ever seen before. Yes, yes. And we'll never see again. Yes, Lord. But right now, God, right now, while the blood is running warm in our veins, yes, yes. while we have the activity of our limbs, God, yes, Lord. God, while we're in our right minds, God, yes. we tell you, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. You've been good to us, God. So good, Lord. Better yes. than we've been to our own sins. Yes. God, have mercy, God. Have mercy, Lord. God, we come around this altar, God. Yes, God. Heart to heart, God. Yes. Mind to mind, God. Yes. Oh, God, to give your name the praise and the glory, God. Yes. Just because of who you are. Yes. God, we tell you thank you right now. Yes. God, we realize, God, there are so many trouble in this place, God. Yes. Somebody's heart is heavy today, God. Yes. Somebody's mind is confused, God. Yes. Somebody's going through today, God. Yes. Somebody's body is back in the pain and sickness, yes. God. But God, we call upon your holy oh, and righteous name, God. We realize, God, that there's healing, oh God, yes. in your word, God. Yes. There's deliverance in your word, God. Yes. There's power in your word, God. Yes. And right now, God, yes. we declare, we declare, God, your yes. healing works, God, yes. to manifest this in a part of people yes. right now. Yes. Somebody, God, is holding on. Yes. yes. Faith, God. The last one to see your faith, God. Oh, God, touch him right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Touch your body right now, God. We come against every, every hit spirit, God. We come against every disease, God. We come against every sickness, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, that heart, God, is heavy right now. God, because the loved one has been called home. God. Oh, God, minister to the hearts right now, God. Give them comfort in the midnight hour, God. Give them strength when they're weak, oh God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Name of Jesus. Yes. And God, according to your word, God. Yes. We know, God, that by those stripes, God. Yes. Oh God, that we are already healed, God. Okay. God, we're just standing on your promises right yes. now, God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Yes. We're standing on your word, God. For your word is about fellows, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh God, have mercy, God. Yes. God, that home that's troubled, God. Yes. We pray your peace right now, God. Yes. Shall abide in that home, God. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Those children of God. Yes. That are going through, that are troubled in school, God. Yes. That are being bullied, God. Yes. 
Yes, you got to build a hedge around my Lord. Oh God, to protect oh God, from the evil, evil hearts out of this world, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God. oh God, that parent God is trying their best, oh God, to provide for their home, oh God. Yes, oh God, to bless them, oh God. Open the doors of heaven, oh God, and pour the blessing in the home, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. May God will pick out for the other shepherd of this house, God. That you should see the order of his steps, oh God. In your holy word, oh God. That he may stand doctrine, oh God. And he carry the other doctrine the word, oh God. In a season such as this, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Help us, oh God. To always remember, God. That we are just servants of God. Help us, oh God, to serve, oh God. In truth, oh God. In love, oh God. In the power of your might, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. We tell you thank you right now, God, for all the things that you've already done. We tell you thank you, God, for what you're going to do in our lives, God. And hey, God, the truth be told, if you don't do anything else, oh God, you've already done enough, God. We thank you, God, for your salvation, God. In the name of Jesus, God. I don't know anybody who got put on any part of this. We say, God, that you cry one of these things, oh God. What must I do to be saved? God, we tell you thank you right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go, God. And we shall be blessed. Keep us, O oh God. And we shall be killed. Tell us, O oh God, to keep our hands in your hands. To keep the look up to the hills of what's coming. All of our help. So all of our help comes from you, Lord. And God, we tell you, thank you right now. We give your name the praise, O oh God. We give your name the glory, O oh God. And we shall hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. It is so. In Jesus' name. And the believers say it. Amen.
Thank you. 
Did you get a rope on you? Can you receive a rope? Wow. You run around screaming, oh, Larry, 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 Larry. I'm not going to I'm trying to keep a Larry, I don't want to get a book. They picked me up, come in the car, rip it down, knock it down, and brought me back home. They didn't know anything but money. They brought me back home, thought I'd go down the car, I'd sit down.
love their children. Mm -hmm. Amen. To be discreet. Mm -hmm. Chaste. Keep it at home. Mm -hmm. Good. Obedient to their own husbands. Amen. I'm sorry for me. That's what you're doing, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 And you go to Hollywood. I'm going to go to Hollywood. You got to do what I tell you to do. Uh -huh. And don't worry about it. Uh -huh. All right. And if you're a man of God, go to the fifth chapter of Ephesians and tell you exactly what you need to do. Because if you're a man of God, a woman of God, it says put Christ first. Uh -huh. In your relationship, then every other relationship will work out well. Right. Because we serve Christ, he got the first, don't you? Uh -huh. I, I, I love this. I, I'm the bread one. You got to do what I said. All right, six. That one, right? That one, that one, God in there. That one, that God in Amen. But yet, amen, as you serve the Lord, regardless of what he do or say, if you serve the Lord, then you will eventually win him to the Lord. Amen? Right. Or you win her to the Lord. That the word of God, amen, be not blasphemed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Young men, likewise, exalt to be sober-minded. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrines, showing an uncorruptedness, gravity, Sincere, sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say about you. Hebrews 11, chapter verse 6 says, Amen. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. That those that come to God must believe that he is, that he is a reward of those who diligently seek him. Amen. 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 So the thought I want to share with you on today is, amen, the reward of God is for the faith. All right. The reward, amen, as I come to you today, amen, I know this is a moment and, and, and deep and, and trust the anniversary. And my brother, sister, I want to say this to us on today. Amen. That we, and we get hold of a position. That position is for you and I to carry out the responsibility of what that position stands for. Amen. 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 It, it, it's not. It's not what the pimp on Sunday morning. All right. How about you like it? Right. I see too many people get to get position and pimp. Right. <laughs> they pimp the position. Yes. They pimp the towel on Sunday morning. Yeah. But but Amen. After Sunday, they don't want to catch the song. Do that with Tyler. Amen. 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 I know the brother said why I go to Amen. I can celebrate with the guests after we turn over. I might need him to help me out even. <laughs> <laughs> When I get through. Right, Amen. Amen. I, I, over the years, I've seen too many of us get positions and then we won't, don't want to carry out the responsibility. Right. And we forget that the word of God, when you stand before God, you got to give an account. That's right. All right. Of um, your stewardship. Yeah. Yeah. And so you stand before Jesus, now you want to hear him say, well done, you got to do well now. Yeah. Right. All right. Um, All right. Well done is the Lord that will pan themselves to hear him say it when they get there. Y'all with me now? Amen. Amen. See, you can't, you can't, you can't just pick the position then and hope and, hope and wish that he's going to tell you well done. Right. It don't work that way. You want to know how well we use the gift, the talent, the time, and everything he gave us to serve him and serve the people. Because that's what we do. Amen. We serve Christ and serve the people. And no matter what position you hold as pastor a few minutes ago, whether you're a pastor, a reverend, or whatever you are, Amen. Jesus said, let those, amen, who be the best among you learn to be served. Come on. Come on. Amen. So now, if you want me to achieve, you don't want to serve, you want to check yourself. Amen. Okay. And best with the Lord. Is that not right? Yeah. Amen. 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 So, so now, and we talked about that in Titus. Amen. I, I would say this morning, brothers, amen. We, we see the example in Titus what God expects you to hold up in the honor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Amen. For those who know the Lord. And I know you have to be a certain age to be a mother in the, in the body of God. I mean, six year old mother. Amen. And it tells you before you can teach. Huh? You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I've seen people that try to witness with the Lord. And when they lead the person, when they lead the boat, they say, I don't know how to say it, you can tell me that. what the word said. I ain't seen it, but that's it, though. <laughs> And then if Jesus our greatest example, we saw Jesus live when he was teaching the preaching. Yeah. 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 And he got a respect to persons, so he was in you and I did. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He, he, he said we couldn't 
love him except he first loved us. So he gave us the ability to love. He gave us his kind of love. A godly love. Amen. A God kind of love. Because once we know once we know Jesus, we no longer know him love after the flesh. We no longer love after the spirit, no. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's tight, but it's right. All right. Amen. In other words, you can't choose who you're gonna love. That's right. And confess to know Christ too. Amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. What the hell did I Well. Amen. What's that when you told take your shoes off? Amen. Amen. What, what, what the word of God says. Amen. Because if we're going to hope in our salvation, his death, by resurrection, what we hope it is. Right. Yeah. That, that what he did, we would do also by trusting in him. Yeah. You can't trust nobody else. Right. Not, not for this salvation, you can't. Right. Well, and we've been here all our lives that only one way to the king, who is by his son. Yeah. Jesus. Amen. We can, talk, we can talk about knowing him all we want to. We can shout, uh -huh. turn cards, everything else. But if we, don't, if we don't become doers of what we confess, what we do is anything. Amen. Amen. Uh, so I'm saying um, today, Mother, as we celebrate you, Amen. We pray that in your relationship with knowing Christ, Amen. You set the example of Christ in you, and you able and Lord and, and able to speak to the young lady that, that need our guidance. Amen. First of all, go to God in prayer. Amen. Amen. Ask God to guide you in the wisdom and understanding that you need from Him yeah. to be able to instruct Him in the wisdom and understanding of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And if you go before them and they see Christ in you well. because you come to God first. Amen. Amen. Nine to my ten, they're going to receive what you say. Amen. But remember this now, they're going to continue to watch you though. Huh? Amen. Amen. They see you take a different trail after you get to talk to them. Amen. 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 I said, you know, I, I love Western. I wear my cowboy boots. <laughs> I love Ralph the Sunset stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but people have listened to the watchers that we witness to. Mm -hmm. and, and they're going to see if we're going to change our mind or change our actions. Mm -hmm. And what we get up to share with them. But the more we remain steadfast, unmovable, abounding in the work of God, the more we're able, amen, to glorify the Lord on Amen. More we're able to grow in the assurance of who we are yes. in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because see, God's word is eternal, it's a living word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Once you take it in, amen, it becomes the final authority in your heart. Which is what faith is. Mm -hmm. Faith, amen, the acronym is the final authority in your heart. Or in your heart. Yes. What faith is. Yes. And what God's word should be. Mm -hmm. Ah, glory to God. Amen. Amen. And we continue here where we are in the sash of the deep, not even know the truth who is right, the truth does what? Amen. So we go for our struggle, we look to the truth, right? Yeah. We have our hearts and our times and adversity, we, we look to the truth, don't we? Yeah. Amen. Who is Jesus? Yeah. And trusting him, he sets us free. Amen. But, but, but I'm just saying to Paul this morning, that's what God expects you to give. You hold a position of honor. Yeah. Show them Christ in you first. Yeah. And then you can be a showing up vessel for the Master Jesus. Yeah. And it will help, it will help strengthen the fellowship. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because every, every position we're talking about today, the mother, the deacon, the trust is meant, if you serve Christ well, it's meant to strengthen the fellowship. Amen. It's meant to grow the body of Christ. Amen. He gave us a gift to edify the church. Amen. <laughs> amen. So I'm just saying, amen, don't, don't just take your power now and walk off with it. Amen. Come here, looking good old Sunday. <laughs> Amen. I did. <laughs> Can nobody find you? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I, 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 I'm after the church. Amen. And when I went there, and, and, and a lady called me and said, Pastor, I haven't seen any deacons for the past six months. My mama been sick. Fed off sick. Haven't seen one. Haven't heard from one. Nothing. I went to the hospital to see a lady. And she, I mean, she, she was sick. But so I walked up, she started smiling. Amen. For those sitting in the corner, and I do possess, I kiss on the whole hand. And for those that pass the only I'm up to the only they think I hate them is because, as I said to you, I haven't seen a deacon hurt them in six months, and my mom been sick. I left the hospital, I called, I told her, this is why y'all claim that I'm going to hate you. I said, if she hates you, because you have not fulfilled your responsibility. Amen. So you need to pack up, get up. Amen. <laughs> you get on down to the hospital. Amen. And for the next three or four months, I go with them one Saturday after every month to, to go around and visit. And we want this the same way as hospital. Watch this for the night. We can't go that path. We can't. They don't mind. Let's go the other way. 
Google me, y'all. Not Google. They said, come in, man. I wonder how I saw that. I think I agree. They come in. Yeah, they come in. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So lay it, so lay the truth won't get you. Amen. Yeah. But God's the one that the dog won't come to life. He won't lie. Yeah. Now you've got to have the dog in feet all you want to. Yeah. But God sees wherever you are. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God knows our heart. David said in Psalm 139, He knows our, our riding up. He knows our sitting down. He knows our thought before we speak them. He knows our word before we speak them. Amen. 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 You might be able to touch down in front of man, but you won't make it in front of God. Right. If you ain't running the football for him. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that I can Amen. Now, let me, let me just share this. Amen. With the brother Deacons on this morning. Amen. Out of verse 2. Likewise, must the deacon be brave, not no man, not giving too much wine, not breathing a filthy little. Amen. Now, you know, we got we got our church children that talk about the wine, so no. Now, Paul, Paul took that little wine by his friend. Which I always drink, but, but not to the real or get drunk. Right. So, I, if God lets you drink a little something, <clears throat> just, don't, just don't get drunk, get out of here. Huh? Amen. But, but most of us, I, I really believe, if we, if we had enough of while we're out there, because we're serving God, we got enjoy, we got nothing to do for him. Hey, I'm going to tell you that again. Amen. It, it, it says, Amen. Holding the mysteries of the faith in a pure conscience. Mm-hmm. Amen. So in other words, we ought to have a, a, a clear conscience that we're serving God. Mm-hmm. And we're who we confess to be, right? Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. And let those also, amen, be true. Yeah. Then let them use the office of deacon being found famous. Mm-hmm. Let them be very true. Uh, don't you, you know, call you, call you love one? Your husband, your friend, your, your, your buddy that's accepted out in the community. Mm-hmm. Let them first prove to say how they serve God. Yeah. If, if they serve God, then they're going to serve people. Yeah. 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 I'm just saying like this. I know it's tight, but it's right, folks. Yeah. Amen. 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 I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole job, but I got to change like this. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm here to, to tell you. Amen. 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 Now, now, in the 6th chapter of Acts, mm-hmm. in those days, when the number of the disciples were multiplied, Amen, there arose a murmuring among the Greeks called the Hebrews, Amen, Amen, because, Amen, the Hebrews and their widows were neglected in the day of administration. All right? The multitude had grown. And now the Grecian and Hebrew feel like they're, 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 they're people being neglected. Mm-hmm. You just go back to what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. You've got a position, not care about the work. Mm-hmm. Because a position represents the work and responsibility that you have. Mm-hmm. Who you accept? But I'm also saying to the church, if you choose them without first doing what God took, let them prove themselves, then before you get married, they get married with you. <laughs> because you chose them. Am I right or wrong? Oh. What you say? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples together and said to them, It is not reason, amen, that we should have, amen, to lead the word of God and serve David. Amen. 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 Wherefore, brethren, look out among you seven men, amen, of, of, of an honest spirit, of a good report. Amen. Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Amen. Amen. In other words, in other words, the deep take care of that business so that the pastor has time to continue studying the word. Amen. Amen. To be able to teach and preach and feed the sheep. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. So, in other words, what am I saying? If the church, if, if everybody take care of their role and responsibility the way they should in serving Christ first, the church being a living organism mm-hmm. will function in fellowship with love. Ah. Right? Uh, Amen. That's what we're finding out on this morning. Amen. We celebrate you, amen, with the trustees, amen. Your job is not with the physical upkeep of the, the, the sanctuary and the crown, but you, you have that legal aspect of responsibility. Mm-hmm. But you're also still a part of making sure that it, that it comes to the church grows strong. Mm-hmm. Amen. You you, uh, you have a responsibility to church financial ability as well. Mm-hmm. Amen. So you know your role of responsibility. 
Amen. Uh, Reverend Green said, you should have to preach to Jesus. He said, Pastor, I'm glad to you. Because if you love yourself with God, you're going to try to do it. You're going to be your best honor God, huh? Amen. Amen. Because as believers, whatever we do, we do to honor God first. Amen. Ah, glory to God. Now come out and remind us on that as you'll celebrate yourself. Be good, mother, and trust you. And I remind you. Amen. Sometimes we need to be reminded of what we already know. Amen. That's all I'm doing. Amen. And I want to remind you, amen, that the rewards of God, amen, belong to the faith. Amen. Huh? Amen. Now, now just in case you, you, you might not know what I'm talking about, you remember the, the, the scripture of the ten, uh, ten virgins? Amen. Five vials and five foods. Amen. 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 Now, now, amen, it seems like the five foods went on and lived the way they wanted to. Amen. Amen. Even though they claimed they would be in fellowship with God. Amen. But the five wives, amen, they lived. Amen. 24-7. Yeah. In their faith in Christ. Yes, yeah. Oh, I want you to say, that's what we're supposed to be with. Yeah. So that when the bridegroom comes, we're ready to enter in. Yeah. 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 And Jesus calls, we're ready to go. Amen. Yeah. 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 Whether he's coming back or whether we got to leave before he gets back. All right. right. We're living right now, we're ready to go. Yeah. 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 Don't let self be your worst enemy. 
Yeah. 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 I can't yeah. now self, self will get you in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> self will have you pinned upside the wall. Yeah. And the devil need grin because he already got you. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to be somebody else. <laughs> Sometimes you got to tell self, look, get away from that. Get me and me in the Lord. Yeah. 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 I know that good day got the wrong parts of those that they will knock out the flesh of the life of the devil. But those live life after the spirit, they will live unto you. Yes, sir. We are meant to be led by the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. And how wise you are, you are wise because God made you wise. Yes, yes. 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 right. You, 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 you are smarter than God. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay, right now. How do you get around the God of all wisdom, not number right. ten? How do you get around Him? Mm-hmm. What you got came from Him. Yes, right. right. Oh, good. The best thing you do is like, Amen. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust the Lord all of our hearts. Be not our own sins. In all our ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct our prayer. Is that right? Amen. 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 But Peter denied Him. Amen. And the third time he denied Him, he began to cry and cuss him. What am I saying? Sometimes we get unimpressed and we're not careful. We'll revert to the prayer form. Oh, God, they don't know me. Why they not leave me now? I'll stay in the house. I feel first of all, religion don't save you. So you can lay that down and go right ahead. But if you know Jesus, how good he's been to you, you're not going to lay him down. I don't know why. Now see that be so they said, 
who was out in the land of Moab. Yeah. And her mother-in-law was Naomi. Yeah. Amen. After Naomi, her husband died. Amen. Her daughter-in-law, her husband died. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Naomi, Naomi said, I'm going back to be with my family. Yeah. Ruth said, I'm going with you. Yeah. Amen. I'm gonna, you gonna, your God going to be my God. Yes, your people going to be my people. Right. Amen. Amen. Where you die, I will die. Yeah. Amen. It wasn't her faith so much in Naomi. Yeah. But her faith in the God that she saw, yeah. they only yeah. served. Yeah. And because she was committed to trusting in God, yeah. right? yeah. look what God did for her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And he gave her favor with Boaz. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Amen. 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 He gave her favor to reap on the field. Yeah. That she could feed her and her mother-in-law. Yeah. And he ended up giving her favor to Naomi yeah. to marry Boaz. Yeah. Right? And Boaz and Ruth. Had a son named Obed. Yeah. Obed had a son named Jesse. Yeah. And Jesse had a son named David. Yeah. And Ruth became David's grandmother. Yeah. I found out it saved the day. Yeah. So the land of Idol was the grandmother of David. Yeah. Amen. The land of Woodsman Idol. Yeah. To a lung of the living and almighty God. Yeah. She was faithful in God. Yeah. I come out and remind you today. Look at her reward. From an idol worship to a known the living God. Yeah. I come out and remind you on the day. Don't put your trust in yourself. Well, and who will raise up without you? What will do by the Amen. Self ambition, self desire. Yeah. Yeah. Self preservation. Yeah. Yeah. But when you come to Jesus, you got to cut it loose. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. 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 By Christ Jesus. Yeah. Our glory to God. Amen. Amen. When, when, when Rahab was at Constantine in the city of Jericho. Mm -hmm. Amen. She know that God had gave she didn't build a city. Mm -hmm. Amen. She said, when you take the God, you be the city, I'm going to promise with your Lord. Right. That you'll save me and my family. Yeah. Right. She didn't put her trust in the beast, she put her trust in the God. Yeah. Right. Amen. And because she did what God did, God delivered her. From a life of prostitution. Uh -huh. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. Right. The word of God belongs to the faithful. Amen. I'm about to tell you today. Amen. And I'm getting ready to leave you now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Saw a who was a great student, just of the law. Mm -hmm. Who sat under the feet of the mill. Yeah. He used the law back and forth. Mm -hmm. Paul, amen, was on the way to the master to put some more people in prison and to take their life. Now, yeah. he met Jesus on the road to the master. And that night, right in the noonday sun, well, Paul had a transformation that took place not only in his life, yeah. but eventually in his heart. Yeah. Amen. Because three days later, on a street called Street, yeah. Amen. Yeah. he prayed for Paul, and the scale fell from his eyes. Yeah. Paul once was blind, yeah. but now he can see. Yeah. He found out I can serve God or be saved by keeping the law, but now that I know Jesus yeah. and the grace and faith in him, yeah. I am saved by the Holy I'm going to show you what persecution you must suffer for my name's sake. Yeah. Amen. After, after Jesus got through with Paul, Paul went out and began to witness immediately, didn't he? Mm -hmm. I come out and say, when Paul went back to tell them about Jesus, who had been in the circle, they got ready to kill Paul, didn't oh, right. yeah. Paul kept on doing what God had called him oh, to do. Right. Yeah. Because I'm an apostle called by God to serve Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. so I come out and tell you on today. Now, whatever your title may be, whether you're a deacon, a trustee, or a monk, whether you're an usher or a choir member, amen, whether you're the pastor, wherever you are, amen, just keep on depending on Jesus. Amen. Yeah. 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 When it's yeah. time to take your life, yeah. God will. God will. God will. Yeah. God will. God will. Yeah. God will. Yeah. Yeah. God will. 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 Yeah. And serving God faithfully. We know the story of Paul, don't we? Yes. Many times Paul spent shipwrecked. Night and day in the city. Many times Paul was whipped 39 strikes up and down his back just like Jesus. Paul was whipped with a rod many times. Yes. Amen. Paul was amen, shipwrecked in a hurricane. But every time, every whatever the enemy tried to do, Paul kept on talking about Jesus. Well, in right. the city of life. Even when they preached the God and the act and the man with the triple ankle got healed. They tried to make Paul and Bond with God. They tried to give Paul and Bond the glory. And when I come out of the day, when God is using you, yeah. amen, and God is getting the glory. Yeah. Don't you take it with your sin. Yeah. Amen. They got mad with him and struck him outside the ship. Yeah. Amen. They left Paul on the heat power for dead. But God didn't go get it. God raised him right back up. Yeah. And Paul never on preaching. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Right? And when it came time, amen, for Paul to answer the call, right? amen, get him ready to go home to be with the Lord. Right? Yeah. Paul said, I fought a good fight. Yeah. I kept the faith. Yeah. I finished my course. Yeah. I was proud of the life. 
life uh, waiting for me, but not only for myself, uh, but all those that love God and no parents. Uh, I come out and change the day that the reward of God is given to the faithful. Mm-hmm. That the proud of witnesses. Yeah. 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 Watch me see how you are not. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to run out of race. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. uh, if we're going to win the race, we're going to run the race the same way they did. Amen. 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 Trust in the God of our salvation. Oh, yeah. Jesus endured the suffering, the humiliation of the cross, yeah. mm-hmm. despite mm-hmm. the shame mm-hmm. that, that, that he went through for the joy that was set before him. Mm-hmm. He's our example. Mm-hmm. If we got our eyes on Christ and we're focused on him, you know the people that promise you've given us. He's going to prepare a place for you and I the way he yeah. is. And yeah. you're not making up. Uh-huh. Coming again to receive you. That word give is a big word. Uh-huh. That tells us that God rewarded you and only to the. Oh, y'all didn't even say it. It's faithful. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, oh, y'all find them. <laughs> but it's all right. I didn't come to faithful. I shot my word.
And I just want to say, Lord, I need you right now. Whatever you need, what you will desire. As the choir just said, come on, boy. Come and make it, let's call the evening. How did I make it this far? Imitation is a state of gravity. Let's go for the hill. I know I had to be God.
said thank you so much for your word. I want to thank you for God's word. Amen. 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 God bless you. As we prepare for to transition to our communion services, uh, we just want to, as they are transitioning, they go they move into position. But uh, the church covenant, the church covenant, the families in the chapel, by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. And on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, we deny the presence of God in this and this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort, to promote this prosperity and spirituality, to sustain this worship, ordinance, discipline, and doctrine, to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry and the defense of the church of all nations. We also engage to maintain sacred devotions, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our, to be just in our dealing, faithful in our engagement, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid all talent, backfiring, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale and use of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, and be to, zealous, to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to wash over one another in brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling and courtesy and speech, to be slow, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior to secure it without delay. We more be engaged that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. Thus begins the reading of our church covenant. As we prepare ourselves for our communion, we do ask that those that are here, if you must leave, we ask that you would do so quietly, but otherwise if you do not have to leave, please remain and celebrate the Lord's Supper with us. As we shall distribute today if you have accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, please freely take of the communion. If you have not accepted, let the plate pass by. For this is for those who have acknowledged, who have believed in their heart, faced with their mouth, that Jesus is Lord, and have accepted him as Lord and Savior. This is not anything that we take like. It's not anything that we play with. Because Jesus said, as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering till he shall come again. And he died for us. He died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. Notice that Howard is going to come and share with us. Read from 1 Corinthians chapter 11. That's a reminder of our duty and obligation. And Paul reminded the church of the For there must be also here seeds among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. One place. This is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, every one taketh before other his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have ye not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God, and shame them that have not? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not, for I have received of the Lord that which is which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do he has supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, 
And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this call many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if you, for if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you want, let him eat at home, that ye come not together, as a combination, and the rest will I set in order when I come. Amen. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the bread represents the body which was beaten. The body which was nailed to the cross. The body which was speared in the side. The body which a crown of thorns was placed upon the head. The body which endured so much suffering for your sins and my sin. The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The blood which the scripture says that without the shedding of blood, without no there is the re no remission of sin. Amen. So the body suffered and the blood was shed for our sins. As Jesus met with his disciples, he took the he blessed the bread and he blessed the wine. He said, as often as you do this, you do show forth his death and his suffering that he shall come again. As he blessed the bread and blessed the wine, we are not able to bless it as he did, but we are asked, able to ask him to intercede on by our behalf as he continues to intercede for us. As Deacon May shall lead us in prayer, let us bow. Precious God, we have come and thank you for this more precious moment we are about to share. Yes. Thank you, Father God, for your son Jesus. Yes. Share all yes. that for the remission of our sin. Yes. Realize, Father God, that we are not strong enough physically to change, but you can. Yes. But before that, Father God, we ask that you look, we look among our sin. Search our sin. Is there anything wrong? Is there anything we handle us that we might be eating and drinking that nation to our own so We ask you to forgive us right now. Yeah. Thank you for your son, Father God. So we ask you in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, can you change from a physical bread and a physical wine to a spiritual wine? Yeah. Yeah, it might be good for us. So, yeah. in, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
comes together to partake of the Lord's Supper. Jesus met with his disciples on that thankful day. He said that this is my body, which is broken for you. Take me and eat all of it. The cup of the wine is glass of blessing. He said this is my blood. The blood of the New Testament. Take ye and drink all of it. Jesus said that I will no more drink of the fruit of the vine, so I drink it a new with you in my Father. Amen. 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 As often as we do this, as often as we do this, we do show forth his death and his suffering that he shall come again. After they had died, they sang a hymn, and they went out into the Mount of Olives. We do not have a Mount of Olives to go out into, but we do have our homes, our highways, our byways, our schools, our jobs. Let us go forward, telling somebody of the goodness of Jesus Christ, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, because it is through and by him that we are saved. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to follow that by him. Let us rise to our feet. And let us join up. Maybe if you'll come forth up to reach out and join our hands. Join us. Down to the